has all power. Has all power. One day. Loving this song, yeah, absolutely incredible. I love the passion in that, uh, you know, what's in the declaration. One name, there is only one name, and the Bible actually does tell us, you know, what that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord of all lords. This is one name by uh, Love World Singers. And brothers and sisters, I believe you guys are having a good time this uh, fantastic evening, a beautiful Friday. I love it. I love the weather. I love everything about tonight. Uh, it is 8 p.m. It is actually three minutes past 8 p.m. You're tuned in here to Agape FM, the station that brings the gospel of Jesus Christ and nearer to you. And just by, you know what, hearing it's a Friday night, I believe you guys know what it is. Uh, we're getting down to today. Um, if you guys are tuning in onto our Facebook, uh, you know what, alive, uh, you can see I'm not alone in the studio. It's excited here. I mean, it's getting heated in here. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just thrilled by today's uh, conversation. But without further ado, let me just uh, introduce uh, the guest that you guys are seeing on Facebook live. Um, so, guys, um, I'm excited to have you guys with, uh, with us tonight. Uh, do you want to just take this moment to introduce yourselves? Um, hello, I'm Sister Kulifelo. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank our President Pastor Chris, our Zonal Teens Pastor Pastor Faber, and our crew Pastor Pastor Babusi, and lastly, our Teens Pastor Pastor Nomantla. Thank you, Ma, for teaching us the word, for training us, for sharpening us. Thank you. I love you. Amen. Hey guys, it's your boy Matthew here. And I'd like to thank, firstly, I'd like to thank our president, Pastor Chris, our Zono Teens Pastor, our Pastor Favor, uh, so, sorry, our Zono Group Pastor, Pastor Favor, and our group, uh, our Zono Teens Pastor, Pastor Favor, and our group pastor, Pastor Bubusi, and our Teens Pastor, Pastor Nomantla. Thank you, Ma, for teaching us the word, for training us, and for sharpening us. Thank you. I love you. Amen. Absolutely. Guys, uh, as you heard, it is uh, Colofello and Brother Matthew today. Man, today is going to be epic. Uh, tell a friend of a friend to tune in because you don't want to miss this. This is very fundamental. I'm so excited and eager to learn myself. You know, one, one thing, you know, that I'm privileged, you know, being in this, you know, kind of position is I'm always in a place of learning, you know, and this is absolutely amazing. So, guys, wherever you are tuning in, you know, we want to ask you, you know, to get a Bible, you know, get together if it's in a family setting and stuff like that. You know, your kids, your friends, you know, tell them that today we are getting to learn something new. I'm excited a bit about today. So do you want to tell us what are we looking at today? What's the topic for today? Today's topic is um, for glory, for beauty, mm. meaning God created you wonderfully. Um, before I carry on, I would just like to give a brief explanation on what TiVo is about. Mm. So TiVo is our sim is uh, our 
book written by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. Mm. It's a simplified Bible, making it easier for young kids, young people to understand the word of God. Mm. It has impacted so many young people's lives. Mm. Let me carry on. To the Bible, Genesis 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Mm. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Pastor Chris says, let's talk. Amongst everything God created, you're the most beautiful because you're created in his image and his likeness. God created you to look like him and function like him. You're his excellent handiwork, his perfectly crafted masterpiece. He created you for glory and beauty. <laughs> no wonder the psalmist said, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Mm. When you study the account of the creation, you'll notice that after God made everything from the first to the fifth day, he looked at what he made and said it was good. But on the sixth day, after he created man, the Bible says, then God saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. You're the crowning beauty of God's creation, the consummation of his work and the cream of his creation. You're the most beautiful thing that the world has ever seen. You're the perfection and epitome of his beauty. You're the reflection and the manifestation of his glory. The Bible says you've been called to glory and virtue and not to poverty, sickness, disease or infirmity. You're too beautiful to be sick. You're too beautiful for the down life. Your life is the glory of God. You were created for glory and beauty. I will go deeper scriptures for today are Ephesians 2 verse 10 and James 1 verse 18. Can we please take this prayer together? Repeat after me. Blessed Lord and Father. Blessed Lord and Father. I thank you. I thank you. For creating me. For creating me. In your image. In your image. And likeness. And likeness. Through your word. Through your word. I've discovered. I've discovered. That my life. That my life. Is for your glory. Is for your glory. I'm the crowning beauty. I'm the crowning beauty. Of all your creation. Of all your creation. Thank you for making my life. Thank you for making my life. The testimony. The testimony. Of your grace. Of your grace. And glory. And glory. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Our daily Bible reading for one year is Acts 3 verse 1 to 26 and 2 Chronicles 12 to 15. Luke 1, and for our two year is Luke 1, 11 to 25, Deuteronomy 10. Our act for today says, spend some time worshipping the Lord. Thank him for making you so beautiful and glorious. Amen. Absolutely. I love that. For glory and for beauty, uh, God created you wonderfully. Is that so? We're going to look into that right now because you know what? Many times we have different kind of narratives and today we just want to double click on this point. Uh, the Bible says that you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Well, the Bible tells us that we were created in the image and likeness of God. This is something we've heard. I mean, it's been preached on many pulpits. We've heard it since we got born again. But please, you know, I, I want to find out from you guys, what does this mean? Thank you, Brother John. Well, in the book of Genesis 1.26, God said, let's make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so they may rule over fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the animals. Mm. So this tells me, that I'm the image and likeness of God. So as he is, so am I in this world, fearfully and wonderfully made to rule on this earth over every creature. I have the DNA of God in me, which makes me able to create and frame my own world with power and authority. I love that. I've got the DNA of God in me. You know, it's absolutely fantastic, you know, that when you look at the Bible, even in the, in the account of Genesis, we say God spoke. He mm -hmm. spoke and created everything. But when he was coming to create man, he didn't speak. He came himself. I mean, this says a lot about the kind of value, you know, that God puts in man. I'm, I'm so thrilled with that, you know. And then many teenagers out there, and I'm sure probably some, some of, you know, some of us have gone through, you know, similar kind of experiences, battle with self-esteem. And we're talking about this is like, by the thousands or even millions of teenagers all around the world, you know, battle with, you know, self-esteem issues, identity crisis, because oftentimes their peers tell them that they're not good enough. Mm -hmm. What would you say to a teenager 
who is going through this right now? Your yeah, brother John, mm. what a challenge. Mm. Not knowing your identity is such a disadvantage to your mm. well-being. But the John, identity. Mm. Identity defines who you are and your abilities. Mm. If you don't know your abilities, your others will give you an identity of what they think of you. Imagine calling you loser, mm. failure, nobody. Then you accept. Listen, in no time you begin to function as a loser, as a failure, mm. as a nobody. As people are in trouble out there. Mm. They lack knowledge. Mm. Mm. So let me help somebody out there. To be mm. specific, mm. my peers, mm. teenagers, listen, don't you know that you are, the, you are made in the image and likeness of God? Mm. Mm. You are. So rise up and take Godship over any situation mm. and be the mm. one in charge. Mm. 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 Glory to God. I, I, you know what? I feel like hovering on over this point, you know, that you said, you know, um, many people out there, you know, because of peers, you know, um, you know, have called them names, no good, good for nothing. Sometimes mm. even from authority figures such as, you know, parents, you know, mm. you know, somebody, you know, uh, in their lives. Uh, and I'm very, very delighted, as you said, you know what, they should just go and focus on that. The word of God says, you know what, mm. that they've been created in the image and likeness mm. of God. <laughs> Absolutely amazed. Guys, you heard it right here. This is beautiful. And um, what do you think? I want to find out why, why, why do you think God made man to look like and function like him. Mm, okay. First of all, God is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, in heaven and on earth. Mm. He rules over creation, for mm. it is the work of his hands. Let me quickly go to my Bible. I want to be so sure of the scripture, sir. Mm. Genesis 1, verse 24 to 26. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of, beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creep, creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw it, saw that, and said it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image and our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fowl of the air and over the th cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth mm. this scripture tells you that god created everything and said it was good mm. then as you read genesis 126 he says let's make man and this man will have dominion over everything <laughs> my god everything that god created so God gave us ownership of his possessions. That means, sir, he trusted and believed in us. My brothers and sisters out there, God believes and trusts in us. We are even greater than the devil himself. He fears us because we are God reigning on the earth. <laughs> Chai. Hallelujah. As uh, I know, as you heard, you know what? God has created us to reign and rule. You know, that is, you know... Uh, one of the purpose or characters of man to, to have dominion. Uh, no other creature, you know, according to the scripture, was given dominion. I mean, it's amazing, right? You know, that God says, you know what, to man. He speaks to man and says, you know what, I've created you so you can rule and reign on the earth. Absolutely. This is just mind-boggling. And you know what, we, I'm sure we can camp on this topic right there. Just that question, you know, we can camp on it. But just because we need to cover a lot more. And I believe our listeners are very thrilled. Thank you so much for the guys who are dropping the comments on Facebook, you know what, and liking this. You know, I see a whole lot of comments Keep it coming. Keep it coming, guys. If you've got any questions, drop it there. And we, we believe that, you know what, God is going to enable us to actually attend to that. When the Bible describes Jesus, it says that he is the brightness of his glory. He's mean, meaning, meaning the Father. Mm -hmm. And uh, the express image of his person. What does that tell you about the relationship between the Father and the Son? Mm -hmm. Well, Brother John, Jesus and the Father are one. Mm. They are inseparable. In the book of John 10 verse 30, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. In other words, he is saying, what the Father is, so the Son is. Mm. Remember, you give birth after your own kind. Mm. A dog gives birth to a dog. Mm. 
in John 1 verse 1 to 3 say, says, In the beginning was the Word, and in this Word, God, okay, in the beginning was the Word, and this Word was God. Then in John 1 verse, uh, John, John chapter 1 verse 14, this Word was made flesh mm. and lived among people. This Word was Jesus, same God in the flesh of man, as a firstborn among many, to show us the way to the Father. Mm. As he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Glory mm. to God. Amen. You know, and I like that other point. He said, you know, the firstborn amongst many, mm. which means many others were just like Jesus. We, we've been created to be like Jesus, mm. to, you know, to become the resplendent glory mm. of God. Hallelujah. Uh, guys, you know what? I'm so excited about, you know, this kind of conversation. This is a mind-boggling conversation because, you know what? The enemy is always attempting, you know mm -hmm. what, to you know, deceive us and lie mm -hmm. to us about our identity. You know, that's why we make some decisions in life, you know, because somebody said that, you know what, you are a good for nothing person, you know, you will never achieve or amount to something. We know this, this is, this is real stuff. You know, people mm -hmm. get told stuff, you know, but we telling you on this platform that you are special. You are made in the image and likeness of God. We're going to take a quick break and we'll come back. We're going to listen to a song called Adonai by Nathaniel, Nathaniel Bassi. God bless you.
I love this incredible song. The name of Adonai. You know what? Adonai means a Lord and it means master. You know, it's such an incredible uh, declaration, a powerful song by Nathaniel Bassi. Ladies and gents, uh, we are having the t evolution. You, if you tune in right now and maybe you just jumped onto the, you know, our Facebook video, this is a t evolution Nation show. And uh, I'm excited by today's topic for glory for beauty uh we want to just you know tell you the truth according to the word of god that you know what you are not a good for nothing person you know you didn't just you know appear or something god has an incredible purpose uh for you and i'm joined in by two amazing you know what uh guys as you can see color fellow who's not <laughs> new here and uh brother matthew you know we're having a good time here and we believe that you know you're gonna join us tonight um you know and continue to have this great Great and amazing time. So we've been talking about, you know, what uh, the beauty, the glory and beauty that God has bestowed upon us. We created in His image and likeness. You know what? Uh, we see that God created a perfect universe, mm -hmm. right? But when we look at the chaos, suffering, injustice, wickedness in this world, we see a totally different thing. What happened? Brother John, sir, God is excellent in all his ways. He is a perfectionist. In fact, he is perfection. Mm. Everything he makes is good. I mean, everything, not just some things. Mm. After creating, he himself said it is good. Mm. Sir, when I look at myself, I see the goodness and greatness of God. Listen, quick question. What do you see when you look at yourself? Do you see what the world wants you to see? Sister, brother, you are what God says you are. Dominion and power are given to you. <laughs> you are the head and not the tail. Mm. You are in charge, walking and talking like God. The Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Mm. The devil is the one who continues to kill, steal and destroy. Mm. But as long as you know who you are, mm. He cannot win. And I want just to add one point. People are always saying like, you're a mistake. You are not a mistake. Mm. God put you on this earth for a reason. Mm. And you're, it is your choice to fulfill that reason. Mm. 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 Absolutely. Mm. We're, we're talking about purpose, a purpose driven and a purpose lived life because there's so many people out there, you know, who have no clue or, you know, what, uh, haven't gotten an idea, you know, why they are alive. And, and you know what, uh, I'm very, very excited, you know, to see that, you know, uh, this in encouragement that is coming from this platform telling guys out there, you are created for a uh, purpose Amen. hallelujah well we oftentimes come to the point of it and we're talking about you know these questions we're talking about reality you know things that happen you know in our lives mm. we oftentimes come to the point of existential crisis <laughs> all right <laughs> many of us have gone through that i mean it's normal for all for all of us to go through that you know we ask ourselves where did i come from you know um mm. Where am I going? Mm -hmm. What do you say to someone who is uh, seeking for these answers? Wow, uh, Brother John, mm. the best way to answer this is to know that you are a God kind person mm. made in the image and likeness of God, Amen. born to fulfill a purpose, mm. knowing there are treasures of God hidden in you. Sir, God is the spirit. Mm. He cannot be seen, mm. but I know mm. I'm his image. Mm. And his likeness Amen. That means I'm his mind mm. So I'm his hands mm. His feet To mm. perform his mandate mm. But the John I'm coming from God And I'm not of this world mm. I hail from above I'm strategically on this earth Did you hear that? Mm. <laughs> Did you hear that? So I'm strategically on this earth mm. To demonstrate the glory of God mm. I just want to speak in tongues after that, you know, to demonstrate the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And we know, you know, what, there's a lot of other voices, you know, and stuff like that. I just want to, you know, maybe hear you guys' comment on that same question. Mm -hmm. You know, just double click on that, you know, in terms of what about the other voices that are, you know, telling us, you know, what, um, you know, mankind came from this place and stuff like that, you know, 
it was a big bang or whatever you know and you know we just appeared and stuff like that so what about somebody because you know at many many teenagers out there some of them you know would believe that we just came out of, we were just a, you know a product of chance what would your you know kind of you know answer to that be well sir, i i i i think the whole um atheist term of how we were created mm. we were created by the big bang mm. nothing cannot create something mm. we were created by something much bigger much greater that we all all don't understand mm. no matter how much we try to mm. so mm. god is something amazing something mm. big and so mm. don't try to listen to many people because there will be a lot Amen. of people mm. we are teenagers now some of us are 12 13 14 15 mm. we're young the more we grow the more voices come the more someone comes and says oh no this and this and that and this we all need to understand that there's a bible there which is like the menu for mm. life mm. and mm. we read that that's the voice of god the mm. like as I was saying in the previous question mm. that's the word of god the word is god so basically read your bible mm. that is the voice of god that we hear now Mm, absolutely yes, i like that incredible you know uh you know uh, as you said you point reference the word of god the bible does say because as the bible says you know what and you shall know the truth and the truth shall Set make you free. you free well why i want to find out uh this um other you know you know point of conversation why did jesus have to come in the form of man We're talking about we we being made in the image mm-hmm. and you know and glory the beauty you know we are the epitome the consummation you know of God's creation right mm-hmm. um i want to find out why jesus had to come in the form of man what did this have to do with god's redeeming love well 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 let me first say jesus was god in the flesh of a man <laughs> i'm going somewhere So that's why the Bible says the word was made flesh and dwelleth among men. This alone, sir, is the demonstration of God's love and mercy towards mankind. Even though mankind disobeyed and sinned before him, still God had to find a way to reaching to us, persuaded by the love. Mm. As the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19. Mm. that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ mm. not counting people's sin so Jesus was born to bring back men to the everlasting love of the father did you hear that mm. Jesus was born to bring back men to the everlasting love of the father bringing the lives of young people back to the love of the father mm. Jesus did this through his suffering and death mm. today mm. we are overcomers and i personally preach so that other teens can be overcomers mm. And walk in mm. victory. Mm. Amen indeed. And you know, we we talking I believe we are we not only speaking to those who know Jesus mm-hmm. already. I believe there's some people maybe listening to our voice right now who have not had, you know, uh, an encounter with Jesus. And you said that, you know, Jesus came to reconcile us mm-hmm. to the father you know uh in in your own opinion you know what what is this reconciliation you know you know having to do especially with god's love you know i don't know if you can just double click on that point so um as you know god loves us mm. right mm. and god did not want us to suffer the same fate as many others that came before mm. so what god did is he sent his only son mm. jesus christ mm. to die here mm. on earth With that Jesus saved us. Jesus went to hell mm. and he fought the devil. Mm. He took the keys. Mm. So Jesus has the keys. Mm. So meaning that God gave us a second chance, mm. you know, because mm. he loves us so much that he would sacrifice his one and only son, you know? Mm. Going through all that just so that we can have a second chance mm. to live lavishly. Mm. To live mm. lavishly. Mm. Wow, I like that to live lavishly, mm-hmm. you know, and you know as as the Bible says, you know, he was made poor so that we can be rich. You know, I love that incredible. Guys, you know what? I'm excited about I don't know about you all. Uh I see guys dropping in a uh, comments uh Vestlight, we see uh Ida, we see a lot of, we see Porsche. We acknowledge you guys, you know what? This is absolutely amazing. And um I want to come back to, you know to uh, to you brother Matthew in your own words mm. what was the purpose okay okay because we're talking about you know this yeah, incredible yeah, yeah. um you know um creation yeah. that you know as you know Colofella said earlier mm. that we are created 
you know, we are the epitome of his beauty. You know, the creaming crown. Yeah. The, uh, they, say, uh, they, they say, you know what, uh, you are the, the, the gem of his creation. Mm-hmm. Um, in your own words, what was the purpose of our creation and how can we find this purpose? Okay, so, well, in a simple way to answer that, mm. I would say God created me to take care of his possessions, mm. his business, and make it my own business. Mm. Making sure that his word saturates the whole world, especially, and especially teenagers. As our man of God, Pastor Chris said, we are reaching out to 7 billion people mm. all around the world. Mm. Sir, mm. I'm born in such a time that it's my mandate to mm. be the voice mm. of God, Amen. preaching to the world with mm. good news of salvation through Jesus Christ who saved us. Mm. I'm talking about a time where we blow the trumpet mm. before the last trumpet. Mm. Mm. Time to shout the soon coming of Jesus. Mm. You should find every teenager waiting for him mm. at the right standing with God. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. I like mm. that, you know, born with a purpose, mm. you know, and, you know, that purpose is in conjunction with God's will. As you said, you know, seven, I think probably right now it's like eight billion, you know, people out mm. there. Mm. There's a mm. vast number of people that actually don't know about Jesus, probably have never heard, you know, uh, you know, the gospel. And you saying that God has called us to be his voice, to be his hands and feet. Well, uh, this is just a challenge and encouragement to teenagers out there. You know what? That we've been created. There's such a vast and an amazing purpose. Mm. You know, it is It is not small. You know, it is massive. It's a major job, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, guys, thank you so much. I'm so blessed. And I believe our listeners out there are blessed as well. We're going to take a quick break uh, right now. We're going to listen to some incredibly Holy Spirit-filled uh, uh, songs and and, you know, we want to encourage you before we come back for the last round. God richly, richly bless you. Oh 
his Holy Spirit uh, by Martin Pique. And as you can hear him say, Holy Spirit, I love you so. You guide me in all things. And you know what? I thank God. You know, this is a promise. I mean, recently we just had, uh, you know, the Pentecost uh, Sunday. And I believe many people were in church. And you know what? Uh, we were just celebrating that amazing historic, you know, um, you know, time that Jesus actually, you know, the Holy Spirit was poured out and the church was born. If you're tuning in right now, if this is your first time to tune in, whether onto our radio platform or even if you are new onto our Facebook page, uh, this is Agape FM, the station that brings the gospel of Jesus Christ nearer to you. And tonight I'm joined in by an amazing, you know what, a bunch of people that is Colofello and uh, Brother Matthew. This is a T-Volution Nation show mm -hmm. and we want to you know, encourage teenagers all over the world. We've got, you know, probably three or four billion teenagers out there, you know, that we, we are to reach and we're very excited. Um, today, as, you know, Colofello introduced this show, it's the for glory, for beauty, you know, that God created you wonderfully. Wow, that is incredible. You know, for somebody out there, take that point and make it uh, your testimony. Well, um, we, we just, you know, we were having a fantastic, you know, conversation. And I want to ask you, you know, you know, Colofello, you know, our glory is the glory of Jesus. All right. We see it all over in, in the Bible. I want to find out from you when, you know, please elaborate on this point. Um, thank you, Brother John. Mm. Today, you have so many questions. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, to answer that, I will say, my life is the life of Jesus. Mm. I'm not living for myself, mm. but living to serve Jesus. Mm. He trusts me in fulfilling what he gave his life for, mm. to be sacrificed for the world. Mm. Death could not contain Jesus. <laughs> Can I say that again? Mm. Death could not contain Jesus. But he rose to victory and he's seated next to the Father, reigning in all the earth. Mm. Brother Jay, it's my responsibility to tell the world of the saving power of Jesus, mm. that mm. everyone is saved into the glory of his victory. Mm. The mm. Bible mm. tells us by every soul won, the heavens are rejoicing. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, and I'm just going to, you know, d double click on that. I like just double clicking. I've got this thing, you know, and, uh, you know, I like the, a, the Bible says, as he is in heaven, so are we on the earth. And we know that Jesus, as you said, that he's seated at the right hand of glory, and, you know, the, the right hand of God, the Father. You know, he's reigning in glory. What about, you know, we, we're going through situations, we're going through circumstances, and sometimes we're like, we're not moving in the glory, mm -hmm. you know, in the power, in the dominion that God has given us. You know, uh, how do we reconcile these two? You know, how do we, you know, meet, make this our reality, you know, come to the reality of God? Um, thank you, Brother John. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the Bible says faith without works is dead, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you can, you as a Christian cannot expect um, God's blessings in your life mm -hmm. to come to pass when you don't do the work. Mm -hmm. You need to read your Bible. You need to study your word so that you can understand mm -hmm. so that when the blessings do come, you can enjoy them fully. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Enjoy them to the fullest extent, mm -hmm. you know, and we cannot pick and choose what it is to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. You have to take it as a whole. Mm -hmm. So sometimes being a Christian, you know, some people might find it difficult because there's some things, for example, with teenagers, sometimes it's hard to preach to your peers because mm -hmm. they'll say, you know, um, uh, oh, pasta, 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 you know, they'll mm -hmm. make fun of you or whatever. Mm -hmm. But remember, uh, when God, um, uh, God never promised us, mm -hmm. um, uh, trouble-free life. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. So as a Christian, but as a Christian, as you study the Bible, you learn strategies that will help you to overcome those challenges. Mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm, mm. I, li I, like to, I like to add on a point. Mm -hmm. You can't pick and choose what you, I mean, what being a Christian is. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to be a Christian because we're going to heaven. Mm. Everyone wants to go to heaven. Mm. Everyone wants the good things of being a Christian. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to doing the works, that's when the trouble comes. Going in your neighborhood, going telling people, I'm a Christian, come to church. That's, mm. a, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's easy to run mm. outside when it's not raining. Mm. When it begins to rain <laughs> or when rocks are there or whatever, 
that's when you don't want to run. So being mm. a Christian is mm. you're running, mm. whether there's stones on the floor, whether mm. it's raining, whether mm. there's a wind, there's a thunderstorm, whatever it may be, mm. you got to still be a Christian. You cannot pick and choose mm. This, mm. this this blessing that we have. Mm. So, yeah. Absolutely. You know what that reminds me? You know, Christianity is not a buffet. Mm. You know, you don't go pick, you know, <laughs> I, I like this, I don't like that, you know, stuff like that. The Bible just lays it out, you know, for mm. us. You know, this is the will of God for us. Guys, I am thrilled i am blown out of my mind i don't know about you well i want to you know as we're rounding off you know we've spoken about the glory we are you know the glory of god we are, yes, we're created yeah. for glory you know Amen. um but there is also another aspect to that there's a glory that is vain right yeah. i want to find out what is vain glory and how should we avoid it at all at all cost Okay, well, in the book of Galatians 5, verse 26, and I'm going to open this now. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Galatians 5, verse 26, um, it says, Let us not be desirous of vain glory, mm. provoking one another, envying one another. You know, this simply says we have to love each other, mm. walking in joy and in peace, for God is love. Brother John, mm. over, we should focus on God because in Him we know there's everlasting life. Mm. I like chasing after the things of the uh, and the glamour of this world, mm. which perishes mm. in tears and disappointments. Mm. Sir, mm. to close, I like to say, God gives us life mm. and everlasting life. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. You know, uh, guys, I am so thrilled uh, and I'm blessed. You know, you know, thank you. You know, it's, it's a blessing. It's an incredible blessing to our listeners and viewers out there. You know, as you rounded this, you know, saying, you know, what, uh, vain glory, you know, um, being selfish or self-centered, you know, stuff like that. But God has actually called us, you know, to be uh, selfless, absolutely mm. uh, selfless. Brother well, John, yes. can I just add to what he said? Mm, mm. You know, the Bible says God is love. Mm. And that... We, I know sometimes it's very difficult to forgive people, mm. but in the end, we must forgive people. Mm. And um, another thing is that, you know, there are challenges in this world. Mm. Yeah? And as a Christian, you will face these challenges, mm. right? But do not let those challenges stir you away from God. Do not submit to the to the fantasies of this world because mm. at the end of the day, when the rapture happens, what mm. you gonna do? Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? Mm. So mm. this world is temporary. It's t very temporary. Mm. So please, guys, stay with God no matter what. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely love that. It also reminds me, you know, of uh, you know when in the wilderness and you know you see in the distance looks like a mirage, mm -hmm. like looks like there's a pool of water somewhere, and you're just going for it and realize. Oh, there's nothing. That's how the promises of this world, the fantasies of this world are. We think when we get this, when we go there, when we have this, when we become this, you ha you'll be fulfilled. But you know what? We see many people are not really fulfilled by it. So uh, I'm, I'm so blessed, you know, by today's conversation. Um, and uh, I believe you, you know, you have something, you know, to, to announce or to tell us. Um, um, I would like to do the altar call. Okay. So um, this is the prayer of salvation. This is how you receive um, uh, your Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For everything that we have said today to come to pass, you need to say this prayer and mean it with your whole heart mm -hmm. because this is a lifetime commitment. Mm -hmm. Please repeat after me. We trust, sorry, our, oh, Lord God, oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. In Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, Son of the Living God, I believe He died for me. I believe He died for me. And God raised Him from the dead. And God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ, is the Lord of my life. Is the Lord of my life from this day. From this day. Through him and in his name. Through him and in his name. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I'm born again. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. For saving my soul. I am now a child of God. I am now a child of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. And I'd like to just do the announcements. Awesome. Um, there's a J16, our J16, which is our big youth thing coming up. And it's around the corner. It's mm. on the 17th. And you are... 
invited so please dial the number 074-939-2336 and of course we invite you to our sunday service starting at 9 30 a.m and, le- and ending at 11 45 mm. in the in the little theater right it's here in central in central Thank you. absolutely fantastic guys you know dial that number you know uh, visit uh you know uh, christ embassy you know uh, situated at the little theater in central mm-hmm. uh we would be very excited you know to see more teenagers actually coming to church Definitely. and being empowered yeah. you can see this too you know they're on fire you know and we want you guys to be on fire as well i'm so blessed by you guys thank you so much for tonight Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother John, for having us. Awesome. So we're going to wrap up this incredible show with a powerful song called One Name, Jesus. Uh, May God richly bless you. Uh, It's me, your host, John, and I'm very, very blessed to be with you, to hang around with you for the entire hour. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No other name like Jesus The name above every other name Love you Jesus Kana de bo shata la One name has all power. One name with authority. The name of.